Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence, stealing. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please, to come home. So come home. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a little bit of a different video for you. It's the first time I'm doing anything like this, so please be kind. I'm going to be reacting to a movie trailer. And the movie trailer I'm going to be reacting to is that of a film called Come As You Are. So this film was released quite recently and the premise of the film basically surrounds three disabled men and their quest to lose their virginity. And to do this they take a road trip to Montreal to a brothel. The film has already received quite a bit of criticism from both able-bodied people and disabled people. I just really wanted to watch the trailer because um, I'm really intrigued and give my opinion. Most of you know I used to be in a wheelchair. Um, I'm not anymore. I'm very thankful for that, that I can walk now. However, I am still disabled. I do still suffer or have to tackle problems that other disabled people have to. Not as much, I will admit that I definitely have an advantage now that I can walk, but as I said, I am still disabled and I do still face those sort of challenges in my everyday life. And not only that, I recently conducted my final uni project, which was a piece of research into the representation of disability on TV. And I interviewed eight amazing disabled actors who, if you're watching, thank you so much. And I found out some really interesting stuff. I got their opinions on the way disabled people are presented on our screens. Um, and to be honest, it seems that this film is just an embodiment of everything that they said was wrong with the media industry and the way that they represent disabled people. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a watch and I'm going to film my reaction to it so that you guys, I don't know, get an idea of what it's like for a disabled person to watch something like this. I will say, before we even get into watching the trailer, there's already something massively wrong with this film and that is that it is about three disabled people and yet there are zero disabled actors featured. This is one of the biggest problems in the media industry. The employment of able-bodied people to play disabled roles. Every single one of the eight actors that I spoke to stressed how much of a problem this is and how much it affects their attempts to do their career and to get roles. Because not only are casting directors more reluctant to work with disabled people, they're also now casting able-bodied people in disabled roles. So the use of non-disabled people to play able-bodied people is called cripping up. Many people have actually compared it to the term blacking up, which is when a white person plays a black person. And I know that can be quite a controversial comparison. You know, you wouldn't do blacking up, so why do cripping up? It just doesn't make any sense to me. How is a disabled person supposed to be portrayed accurately by someone who has never experienced disability in their life before? It, it just can't be done and it shouldn't be done. And this film is, you know, it's 2020 film. Things need to change, you know, come on, like, let's get with it. I have a quote that I found on Twitter that was said by somebody who was involved in the production of the film. And this person said, At the end of the day, you've got to say, are we going to portray an amazing message with great actors who are actually prepared to take on this role, or are we going to spend years trying to cast someone with a disability just because they have a disability? There are so many things wrong with what he just said. Firstly, you're not going to portray an amazing message. It's about some guys getting laid. Why would he suggest that it would take years to find disabled actors to play these roles? There are so many disabled actors out there, 
presenting themselves, saying I'm here, I'm a good actor, cast me in something, and they're being ignored and overlooked because of their disability, which is ridiculous. So, there's already so many problems with this film, and we haven't even started to watch the trailer yet. So I think we better just get into it. I have my laptop here. I am gonna screen record so you can see what I'm seeing at the same time. Let's get into it. Act really cool. Just act cool. I've got uh, two um, persons with disabilities. Two persons with disabilities and a blind guy. Visually impaired. A visually impaired gentleman. I'm 24 years old. Besides my mouth, about the only other thing that works on my body is my junk. I need to know what sex is going to be like for me. What if I told you that there was a place for guys like us to get seriously laid? Yes. <laughs> this guy told me about a place up in Montreal that caters to people like us. Welcome to the Chateau Bacardi. Go as you are. Okay, so something that we spoke about. Um, in like during my research was the fact that disabled people are often portrayed as sexless and virgins and unable to pull which is ridiculous um first of all i'm a disabled person that's not true okay i won't go into any more detail than that but i have a boyfriend and one of my amazing participants was quoted as saying we do it Disabled people do it. We're not all virgins. It's not really hard for us to get laid. And the fact that they have found this brothel that caters specifically to disabled people, it's just perpetuating these really negative stereotypes of disabled people that, that none of them can be in relationships and none of them can have sex and that they're all really unattractive because of their disability. It's just... It's really bad that a film nowadays is perpetuating this kind of thing and the fact that there's this brothel that specially caters to them like they're some sort of like alien or animal or something it's just ridiculous it's so bad this message is just so bad can you imagine like a young disabled teenage boy watching this and thinking right the only way I'm ever gonna get laid is if I go to a special brothel people who are prepared to have sex with me because I'm so disgusting. Oh my god, this is just so bad. We're only 37 seconds in as well. If we're gonna do this, let's do it. I could use a field trip. It's like a road trip. Sam the driver is a woman. We can't do this with a woman. I'm not going to a brothel with a woman. Well, it's too late to cancel. I'm Mo. This... Well, she's friendly. My parents. Toss it out the window. They can track us. It's the cost of freedom. Mo, yeah. I'm gonna throw my phone Mo, out. Fine. Do it. It's my SIM card. I threw out my SIM card. Oh, that's a better idea. So stupid. I want all the cards on the table right now, or we won't go anywhere. You don't get it, but guys like us, we have a tough time with women. We're just uh, virgins. Uh, if you want me in the room, that's gonna be extra. What room? Yeah. In the room with the hooker. Mo, you had one thing at not. I think also this isn't just negatively portraying the disabled people and disability it's also just kind of a bit of a sick storyline there's so much more to a person than their disability and I'm pretty sure I don't know maybe this is wrong that the only thing they want in life is sex like I just to say and you said it Spent a lot of time feeling like I was on the outside. Right, there we are. That quote said, this is a feel-good film. It's a feel-good film. This is another thing that we discussed. Because able-bodied people will watch this and think, I never have to go through that. Like, I never had to go through that. That problem is something that I didn't have to ever face. Um, you know, and it's going to obviously be a happy ending. I'm sure some of them will end up having sex or whatever. But it makes the able-bodied person feel superior to the disabled people who can't have sex and are living this horrible life because they can't have sex. And that's why it's a feel-good film. This is another thing that we discussed. Actors talked about this. The fact that, you know, 
it's sort of like disability porn for able-bodied people because it makes them feel better about their own lives. So I just stuff. Ever since we all started hanging out, it just feels different, like I'm included. There's another one. Disabled people have friends that aren't disabled people. All of my friends, well, not all of them, but most of my friends don't have disabilities. Yes, I have some friends who have disabilities, but, you know, I don't only hang out with disabled people and we don't only talk about our disabilities when we're together. You know, there's more to us, there's more to our lives than just being disabled. Which is another thing all these actors said. We're portrayed to be lonely and desperate for friends and, you know, desperate to be included. When in real life, that's not how we actually are. You know, we have friends, we have lives, we do things. You know, we go out, we're included. You know, so... Another really bad stereotype is being perpetuated through this film. That's two so far. No, probably three. You know what? There's endless amounts. To our road trip. No, 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 no. To our pilgrimage. And to the bevy of beauties awaiting us at Le Chateau Paradis. To our boners! Classy, right? You know what this is just to our pilgrimage like the way that they're framing their quest for sex as some sort of pilgrimage like sex is holy and it's the one thing that everybody wants it's just this, this is really bad like oh, after all my research and even being a disabled person myself I just think this movie should just not be a thing I think we should boycott it Anyway, there's a few seconds left. Let's just finish it up. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Mo 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 stop! Ah! Are you blind? Disabled people can't drive. No, we can't drive. Um, and if we do drive, it's dangerous and we put other people at danger. I can drive. And I know many other disabled people who can drive. I think as well, just using disability for comedic value like this is obviously supposed to be funny but all of the jokes are every joke is centered around disability the butt of the joke is always the fact that these guys are disabled which is another thing that my actors talked about when we were discussing this in the research it, it's just like this film was made to perpetuate every negative stereotype and to do everything bad that it co like that it possibly could and you know the amount of outcry there's been about it and um, this guy who made that comment that I read out earlier still stands by the fact that they didn't hire any disabled actors it's just ridiculous well that was it so as you can tell I'm not happy with that. Um, I had some very strong feelings about that. I don't want this whole video to go on too long. I don't want it just to be like 20 minutes of me ranting. I think I've said, you know, what I need to say. Um, I think overall this movie should be boycotted in my opinion. It's terrible portrayal of disabled people as sexless, as losers and loners who can only be friends with disabled people whose whole lives are consumed by their disability and that they're miserable because they can't have sex because of their disability and also it's cripping up you know they've used cripping up which should be it just shouldn't be a thing anymore very rightly blacking up was eradicated years and years and years ago yet people still think it's okay to crip up it just isn't you know it, that needs to stop first and foremost and the perpetuation of these horrible negative stereotypes needs to stop as well i think this just shows that we've still got a long way to go when it comes to the representation of disability anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little film i know it's a bit different to what i usually do but i really wanted to watch a trailer for this film i won't be watching the actual film I think that two minute trailer was more than I could handle. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's that. Um, I hope you're well, I hope you're keeping safe, I hope you're keeping sensible. 
wearing masks, washing your hands, being careful, social distancing. So my camera just cut out. Um, I was just going to say goodbye anyway. Um, I was just ranting about the fact that you should be careful during coronavirus. Oh. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence, stealing. Oh, Cecilia.